Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it, I am Penge and welcome back to Chef. Now since the end of the last part, I have moved time on a little bit in the world of Chef. When we left it last time, we were on February week one, now it's February week three. So a couple of weeks of in-game time have passed. Of course when we actually play the game, it's just a couple of days. So week one's lunchtime and evening session have been played and week two's lunchtime and evening session have been played and now the lunchtime session for week three is just beginning. Look, there's a few people people sort of hanging around outside the door demanding food. I'm sure we'll let them in momentarily. But I've done all this to get ourselves more experience points and more ingredients points and more money and more reputation or popularity, whatever it is, popularity, because I have a plan. I have a plan. Oh yes, everybody, it's a Geek Cupboard plan. And we all know how well plans go in the Geek Cupboard. They always go flawlessly and nothing ever goes wrong. So here we go. Buckle up, everybody. So what I want to do is... I want to get something kind of seasonal. I want to get something seasonal because right now when this video goes out, it is the day after Christmas Day. So in the UK, that is known as Boxing Day. I, I'm not entirely sure why it's called Boxing Day. I'm sure someone will put me right in the comments. I think it's because it's to do with, it's to do with when you would give people that do things for you, you'd give them a little sort of boxed gift. So like the milkman, you don't sort of, you know, the milkman is not one of your employees, but he brings milk to your house, or he certainly did do back in the olden times. So by means of saying thank you, you would give him a little boxed gift. And you know, the bin man and that kind of stuff. I think that's kind of what it is. Now when I was little, I was just thinking it was because Boxing Day was when you threw away the boxes <laughs> thought your toys came in. Because Christmas Day, you're like, yeah, I've got a toy. And Boxing Day, it was just in the way, so you chucked the boxes away. That's what I thought. But no, apparently not. It's nothing to do with actual boxes at all of that kind. But there we go. So it's still Christmassy. It's still Christmassy in the UK, the day after Christmas Day, Boxing Day, we get off. It's a holiday. Hooray. So most people won't be going to work. You know, people who work in restaurants like this and who work in retail will be going to work. But uh, a lot of people won't be. So to celebrate this, to celebrate the fact that we have the day off, celebrate that lovely day off after Christmas Day where most people might be going, oh, my head, I shouldn't have drank too much. Or in my case, it'll be me going, oh, my stomach, I shouldn't have eaten so much cheese. <laughs> We're going to make ourselves a few Christmassy items, because I like the idea of this. I want to get some Christmassy things on the menu, just so we can have like a, a sort of a Christmassy feel to things, because I think that'd be fun in Chef. So that's why I've saved up our experience points, and particularly the ingredients points. We can go in and get some lovely, lovely Christmassy ingredients and make things all very lovely. And we can have a little sort of Christmas menu. <laughs> I like that idea. So let's spend our experience points first. Let's go to the character panel. Now Christmas, meat. There is much meat at Christmas time. So we've got the roast meat, which is good because it's the turkey, isn't it? Christmas is about a turkey and you roast a turkey. So we've got 15 points to spend. That is to do with meatballs. That's boiled meat. That is, oh, that makes the roasted meat cook quicker. Do you know what? I'm happy with that. I'll take that. Uh, and that, ah, there we go. Right, so we want all of these marinade. Marinating meat with different compounds is a key process to create better recipes. So that roasted meat, the recipe quality goes up by three. I will have all three points in that, please. Thank you very much. What's that cactus doing? A dry cooking process. Oh my goodness me, roasted meat recipes quality goes up by one. Okay, uh, what else can we have? That's to do with meatballs. That's boiled meat and that's grilled meat. So we don't need any of those right now. We don't need any of those right now. We're concentrating on the grilled. We're concentrating on the grilled meat. Um, that is the cost. Let's bring the cost down a little bit. So we spent five points. Five points on that. That's okay. Five points on the meat. What was that one again? Meat preparation time. Let's also bring down the preparation time. I quite like that idea. So meat recipes preparation time. And let's bring down the meat recipes cooking time as well. So let's spend those points. So now we've kind of upgraded our, our meat capabilities, if you like. That's very good. Right, now let's go over to, no, veg is what we want, veg. We want some high quality vegetables going on here. Roasted vegetables. That's what you have with Christmas Day. You have roasted parsnips and stuff like that and roasted potatoes and all that kind of delicious stuff. So let's get us roasted vegetables. Thank you very much. Now, can we, now see, I, I do like that idea. Do you know what? We're going to get soup as well. Soup is a good starter. In my house, you always have soup at the start of Christmas. That's your first course. That's your appetizer. So now we can make our own soups, which is nice. We'll have a soup uh, sort of bonus to make the soup recipes nicer. Now, can we? What's that? Roasted vegetables. Can we make the roasted vegetables nicer as well? Roasted vegetables. No. No, we cannot. There's nothing to upgrade the roasted vegetables unless it's up here. Fried. It's all fried. <laughs> Everything's about fried vegetables up that way. Okay, fine. Um, 
We could, however, make the salads better. We could make the salads better. Green grocer. I should not supposed to say green grocer. Green grocer's wisdom. Salads are not made by randomly mixing stuff. Really? <laughs> this is news to me. There are there are wisdom and care behind them. Ah, good. Okay. I think we get that. Let's make the salads a bit better. And then we've got four points left. So we've kind of got some nice veg stuff going on. We've got some soup. We've got the roasted vegetables. It's all lovely. Uh, what else do we want to improve in? So carbs, like potatoes. Can we just get some sort of potato -y stuff? No, this is not Christmassy. These things are not Christmassy. This is to do with sort of... Uh, it's to do with pastas and rices and things. The potatoes technically are carbs, I believe. I think that's what they are. But no, okay, so never mind with that. Okay, seafood. Do we need seafood? I don't think we need seafood. Let's concentrate on the dessert. Let's get some dessert points up here now. So, I mean, seafood, we're, we're not really bothered with fish in our particular restaurant. We're not big fish fans. Uh, sort of carb stuff, yes. Meat, we do like. Fish, not so bothered. Veggies, yes, we do like. And then desserts, we are also a big fan of. I think we get pastries. Let's get some delicious Christmas pastries going on. So, yeah, we'll tick that. And now I've got three points left. Fried desserts. Fried desserts. By a good frying oil and keeping its temperature high, you can more easily create fried desserts. Have we got fried desserts? Hang on, where are they? Okay, so fried desserts are up there, but you improve them down here. Okay, fine. Well, we can't do that. So that's all to do with fried desserts. I think ice cream is up there as well. This seems to be a little bit... This seems to be a little bit wobbly. The ice cream quality stuff is... You can earn the, the chance to upgrade your ice cream quality before you can actually have ice cream. But okay, whatever. Right, pastries quality. Yes, we'll have that. Um, pies. Pies down there. So yeah, we'll have a pie. And okay, that'll do for that. And then we've got one. What's that? The final cost or the preparation time, maybe for all these things. Or do we go and get ourselves possibly another vegetable type skill thing in? Should we get one of these in? How about we get ourselves soup going up another point? Is that creamy soup? Yeah, okay, so creamy soup we can't make, but we can make regular soup. Um, okay, what is going to be the best thing that we go for? Do you know what? I'm going to go for this, if only for the pun of the little tooltip thing. Gifts from the pods is a very good pun. And do you know what? That's fine. So legumes, kind of like, you know, things are in pods. So essentially what I'm thinking is peas. Because we have peas on Christmas Day. Peas is a nice, good sort of staple food thing to have. So yeah, we'll have a point of sort of increase of quality of that as well. So okay. So we've got all that done. We have spent all of our skill points. We've kind of gone mostly down the kind of meat side of things. We have put a few in veggies and a few in desserts. Um, did we put anything in carbs? I don't think we put anything in carbs. And there's certainly nothing in seafood. We're not that bothered. At some point, we're going to have to up this. At some point, we're going to have to invest in sort of the seafood quality stuff because it is going to get left behind. All the meat stuff's going to be like, yeah, the meat stuff's delicious. And then people coming in to order the seafood are going to be there going, this is rubbish. <laughs> seafood tastes terrible. So yeah, we need to start upping those at some point, but not right now, not right now. Okay, so now we've done that. We've got 30 ingredients points to spend, so let's go and spend those on some Christmassy ingredients. Okay, the first three points are very, very easy for us indeed. Turkey. The highest quality turkey we can do. Yes, please, we shall get ourselves a lovely, delicious turkey. There we go, so we've got the highest quality turkey meat we can have. And then, let's get lard. Let's get some lovely, lovely fattening lard in as well. That is beautiful. I do like that. And then we're going to get ham because I have ham at Christmas. We have a great big ham. Do you know what? I'll, I'll let you in on a secret. There's one cooking downstairs in my house right now in the slow cooker. So we've got a lovely ham. So we'll have that as well. So that's three points spent. Now, do we want to get ourselves some higher quality ingredients for this, for this lovely, lovely sort of uh, lovely Christmas dinner I'm doing? So I want to make sure that we've got all the veg. So Christmas dinner in in certainly in the UK is turkey and then just ro and then just veg and then there's some roast veg and there's some boiled veg and all that kind of stuff. That's kind of what it is. Then you have stuffing and Yorkshire puddings and all that kind of stuff. So have we got the stuff that we want for a Christmas dinner? I think kind of up here we mostly have. Uh, we haven't kind of got. I know we don't have peppers on a Christmas dinner, but we do have peppers not not unlocked. I don't quite know why. Now leeks you could make a nice little nice little leek sauce. Let's get leeks unlocked. That kind of makes sense. Um, everything else is looking pretty nice. What I might do is, let's go down here. These are three things that we would have uh, on, on the uh, Christmas table. We'd have broccoli, cabbage, carrots, and cauliflower, and also potatoes. 
I think they are very good things to have as a high quality dish. So yes, we'll have those please. Look at the top level things, the top level things, it's beautiful. And then we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go get ourselves some different kind of seasonings and stuff. So can we upgrade, where's sort of like pepper and stuff? Oh no, we wanted to get these, didn't we? Let's get peas, because we can do high quality legumes now. <laughs> I like saying the word legumes. Uh, right, okay, so where was stuff like pepper? Where was all that? Ah, there it is under spices, of course it is. That makes perfect sense, given that it is a spice. So what would we have? What would we have on Christmas Day? Well, we would have stuffing. We'd have a kind of stuffing mix, but yeah, I've only got two points left, so I can't afford to get all of these. So let's get rosemary and thyme. We'll get tier one rosemary and thyme, then it's in and we can do stuff with it. Um, have we got, actually, have we got enough stuff to make some interesting desserts? Because if we're going to start making uh, different desserts, we might need some different kind of fruits, in fact. Let's just have one of those. Let's have rosemary, and then let's find an interesting fruit. So what do we want? Like blueberries. What was the thing we unlocked? What was the thing we unlocked for desserts? Hang on, come on, brain. What was it? Pastries. Ooh, pastries. Things to go in a pastry. What goes in a pastry? Right, let's let's have. Do you know what we've got? Basil. No, let's get rosemary. Let's get lovely, lovely rosemary. There we go. Hello, rosemary. Welcome aboard. Okay, and then we've got pastries. Now, what do you put in pastries? Strawberries. Strawberry, like a little strawberry pastry thing, might be very nice indeed. So. Uh, uh, yes, please. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Now, I realise some people are probably saying, oh, this is Christmassy. Dates and figs are Christmassy. I'm not really a big fan of those. I'm going to leave those alone. I'm going to leave those. Also, a cucumber is a fruit. I, I'd, I'd always assumed it was a vegetable. But no, it's got the seeds on the inside. So, therefore, I suppose it is... It is a fruit. I've never really considered that before. But there you go, a cucumber fruit. So now we've got all the ingredients done. Let's go and make ourselves some nice, some 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 lovely Christmas dinnery type stuff. So I want a kind of soup starter. Then I want the main. Then we'll make a dessert. We've got all the kind of drinks in, haven't we? Ah, oh, they're good for Christmas, aren't they? As well, I kind of missed out on getting some of these things like chestnuts and walnuts and all that kind of stuff. Never mind. We can't have it all. We can't have all the things. So um, yeah, let's go and make us some Christmas recipes. So this is the Christmas turkey main course. The only thing is on the uh, on the picture here, I can't find anything that looks... Oh no, that's the wrong thing. I can't find anything that looks really like a turkey. It sort of just all looks like great big bits of ham. So we'll have that as the as the turkey. That'll do. So it's served with some... I shouldn't have like roasted potatoes and then some green stuff. So that's all fine. So we'll have that. So we'll start that recipe. We'll start that going. And now we can get ourselves some fancy pants things. Look at all the tier three stuff we've got. So let's put turkey in. Already we are at 70. We are at food quality, recipe quality rating of 70, which is excellent news. That's brilliant. We've not even added anything to it yet. Now, what if we put a little bit of lard in there? 86 already, and we've not done anything. We've just put, we've got a, a, some turkey and some lard, and already it's 86. Already it's far better than many of our other options, which I do think is a little bit silly, but there we go. Right, let's turn that off for now. Um, I know we want all of the things on. There we go. We want to select everything. I meant remove the filter. Right, legumes. Yep. Peas. Peas can go in as a primary thing. 122. <laughs> this is going to be the best thing we've ever made. This is going to be a glorious food stuff. Right, okay. Let's filter it on the top ingredient. So uh, there we go. Yeah, all of these. Um, oh, hang on. It's bringing the quality down. So pea turkey, peas and cauliflower is good. Uh, carrot is good. Cabbage, not good. Cabbage comes down. Broccoli. Broccoli brings it down. What if broccoli goes in as secondary ingredient? Okay, that's fine. Potatoes have got to bring that up. Yep. And a cabbage in as a secondary? No, cabbage really does hammer that down. We could do with something to offset the bitterness of this. So we need some sweetness. What can we put in that is uh, that is a bit sweet? Let's put all those back on. Ah, now we could do with the seasoning here. Let's put the seasoning in. 163. <laughs> it's going to be the best thing. It's going to be the best thing we've got on the menu. Um, a bit of a bit of basil. Throw that in. A bit of rosemary, maybe. 184. <laughs> this is just brilliant. Um, do you know what? I think that looks pretty good. Now that I, we haven't got gravy or anything. We haven't got gravy. Like if it were turkey, you'd have a lovely gravy type thing all over it. That'd be really nice. Um, balanced by sweetness. I mean, if we put sugar in, is that going to be? Uh, no, that brought it up one. That actually brought it up one. So a little sprinkling of sugar is no bad thing, apparently. What if we take that out and put honey in? 181. Okay, so no, that's not good. That doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, stock. 
We could put some stock in. Stock goes well with that, that, and that. What if we put stock in as a secondary ingredient? No. What if we put stock in as a primary ingredient? Definitely not. I think that might be as good as we're going to get. That might be as good as we're going to get. Let's have a quick look through, see if we've got anything else. Definitely doesn't need any of that stuff. Doesn't need fish. We've got the meat. Uh, it doesn't need any of that, I don't think. It doesn't need pasta because we've got potatoes in there. We've got all the veg in. I mean, onion? Kind of roast an onion with it. 185. That stays at 185. What if you put onion at the top? 177. Yeah, we're kind of getting to the limit, aren't we? Oh, mushrooms might be a good one. Mushrooms seem to be a good choice, but no. Okay, what if we put mushrooms as a secondary? It makes no real difference at all. I think that is probably as good as we're going to get that. I think that is as good as we are going to get that. What if we put garlic in? Oh, not even not even the majesty of garlic can make this any better. No, in fact, you put garlic in as a maiden, it makes it worse. Leeks. Love leeks. Oh, you can't have that. They're not good. That's just unacceptable. I think that is what we're going to do. So roast turkey with peas, cauliflower, carrots, potatoes, broccoli, some lard, <laughs> some sugar, lard and sugar. Don't come here if you're worried about your waistline. This is not the place to go. But I think that, that is pretty good. Let's save that. That is now a saved recipe. That's very exciting. Okay, and now I kind of want to do the same again, but with the nice ham we bought. Because, you know, people might not want turkey. They might want to go for the ham option. So let's go for all that same stuff again, but with ham and see if it's actually any better. See if it comes out as 185 or not. There we go. There's the Christmas roast ham. That looks lovely up there. That looks very delicious. And it's pretty much the same as the turkey, except we have no lard. It didn't really work with the lard. I don't know if that's because... That pretty much is mostly lard anyway. Look at the pit down there. That's just kind of fat right there. So the lard didn't really help. So we took the lard out. But I have been able to put an onion in. And it's 184. So it's one off. It's one off. That will be very, very lovely indeed. So we'll have that. Right now. Now I want to find where soups might be. So I unlock the pat. There. A delicious soup. So okay. Right. So let's have a leek and potato soup. So let's call it leek and potato soup. So let's spell soup right. Super, super soup. Like that. Leek and potato super soup. Because it's Christmassy. Because leek and potato soup is kind of, well, I think it's Christmassy anyway. Although I'm sure there are many different, you know, everyone has their own traditions and things on Christmas, don't they? But leek and potato soup is certainly a thing that I generally associate with Christmas time. So um, we'll have that. But then, you know, it can be used any point. We can have that soup at any point. So I'm not going to put Christmassy stuff with it. So yeah, it goes under soups. It could go under an appetizer. But no, let's put it under soups. So there we go. Let's do that. And now we get to put three things at the top. So we want to get ourselves potatoes because that's a primary ingredient. Already it's looking good. Then we want to get uh, leek. Put a bit of leek in. Uh, oh, leek and potato do not go apparently. In the world of chef, leek and potato are not good things. I beg to differ. I beg to differ, chef. Right, we'll put some garlic in at the bottom as well. Eat it. This is this, this soup is this soup just potatoes, leeks, and a bit of garlic is already better than a lot of our other things. Oh, dear me. Right, okay. Onions. Can we put onions in? No. Okay, the top ingredient thing here, a little bit fussy. It's a little bit fussy with that. Maybe we don't have to put three in. Maybe we don't have to put three in. Right, get some seasoning in. Let's get some uh, some black pepper going on there. That's nice. What if we put it in as the main ingredient? Okay, yeah. And so it, it just sort of just, it's exactly the same. The numbers are the same. Okay, that's fine. Um, a bit of, a bit of, bit of, bit of basil. Yeah, bit of, I don't want to put mint in it. Rosemary. Doesn't make any difference at all. Let's take that back out. Uh, what else can go in here then? What else can go in here? I kind of wanted more across the top, across there. I wanted more different things, but uh, no, it doesn't seem to like that. Do you know what? That'll do. That'll do. If it lets me save that, we've got 126. That's a pretty good score. So we'll keep that. So that's nice. I do want to go make another soup. And we're just going to call it uh, liquid, liquid, uh, liquid vitamins. <laughs> because... It's just going to be all the different vegetables uh, uh, that we've got. All the different veg that we've got thrown in. So we'll just call it, yeah, liquid vitamins. Because vegetables have vitamins in, so I'm led to believe. So we'll just chuck everything in that we've got. So all the good things. So essentially, it's a vegetable soup. So we can put carrots in. We can put potatoes in. And broccoli, will that work at the top? There you go. So the main ingredients, carrots, potatoes, and broccoli. Then all the other vegetables. Maybe not cauliflower. What about cabbage? Does cabbage help? No. Oh, oh, they're, they're getting a bit vegetableist here, aren't they? Right, a bit of garlic is never a bad thing. What about leeks? Can we put leeks in? Yep, leeks are good. Mushrooms? Yeah, it likes mushrooms. Onions? 
Ah, oh, that'll be good for the bitterness, I think. No, okay, onions on the on the minor list there. No, no, he does not like onions. Uh, tomatoes will probably not be a good thing. Cherry tomatoes might work. Yep, that's pretty good. We have got quite high sweetness, quite high sourness, and quite high bitterness. <laughs> We're very sour and bitter. Oh, dearie me. Um, how about we get some black pepper? Put that in. Did that help at all in any way, shape, or form? No, it did not. Uh, okay, rosemary, put that in. No, nothing's having in. Nothing's changing anything. Th these are not helping. These things are not helping here. Okay, what about peas? Can we put the peas in? Where are the peas? Where are my peas? Chuck some peas in. 122. Or we put them down this bit and it's 124. Okay. Oh, no, hang on. Put them up there and it's 120. Oh, no, it's 124. Sorry, I, I misread the numbers there. Do you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We've got carrots, potatoes, broccoli, leeks, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, peas, garlic. We've got an awful lot in there. We've got an awful lot of very nice stuff. Do you know what, though? If you take out the broccoli at the top, it actually gets better. <laughs> you take the broccoli out from one of the top ingredients and it goes, this is much better, actually. I like this. This is far tastier. And you put broccoli in as one of these ingredients, it goes up to 146. Because I guess it's not quite as sweet. So what if we take out the cherry tomatoes? Oh, that gets even better if we take out the cherry tomatoes because it's slightly more balanced. Um, yeah, okay. I'm fine with that, yes. That is good. Liquid vitamins, absolutely. That is a done deal. Now let's move on to the roasted vegetables. We've got the Christmas dinner. We've got the soups, kind of for starters, if you like. Roasted vegetables. Here we go. I'm just going to call it roasties. Um, and it can go in as a side dish, I think. I think roasted vegetables can go in as a side dish. So I think that's quite a good idea. We haven't got much in the way of side dishes. I think we've got roast potatoes, maybe, and and jacket potatoes, or jacked potatoes, as it did say. I don't know if they fixed that. So, um, yeah, let's do that, then. So let's have these. So roasted... There's only one primary ingredient, roasties. We've already got roast potatoes, but I don't know how good they are. So what if we go like that and have roast potatoes... Roasties in my head are roast potatoes. So that with a bit of oil... Um, oh yeah, a bit of pepper. We we'll have a bit of pepper on them. That's fine. Uh, a bit of garlic would go into those as well, quite nicely. Yep. Yeah. And what else would you put on roast potatoes? Olive oil. Where's the Where's the oil? It's in here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe a bit of oil. I mean, maybe not olive oil. Maybe vegetable. But whatever. Olive oil will do. Yep. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That's proper roasties. That's proper actual lovely. What about a bit of salt? Come on, bit of salt. Yeah. 121 if we put it there. 121 if we put it there. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, it didn't smell particularly exciting, but you know what? I don't think we need to put anything in on the margarine or something. That doesn't really help anybody. Just an extra bit of fat? No, that really doesn't help. About doing it in lard. <laughs> what if we cook them in lard? Nope and nope. Okay, do you know what? Never mind, that's fine. And also, they are vegetarian friendly, so that's good. So we'll save those. And then we'll get another load of roasted veg as well. We'll get some like onions and stuff. Let's go and just do that quick. There we go. That's kind of the things that you might roast on some roasty toasty veg. So I call it roasty toasty veg. It's only 88, but you know that's pretty good for our side dishes. And again, vegetarian and vegan friendly. It's just got it's got a bit of sugar in it to make the sort of to offset the bitterness. But that bumped the score up quite a lot. So essentially, it's roasted onions, roasted carrots, roasted broccoli, and roasted cauliflower. I've never tried to roast a cauliflower. I don't know how that would work. I've certainly roasted the other things, but I don't know how you'd roast a cauliflower. <laughs> just I'm not sure how well that would go. But there we go. That's what that is. So we've got a couple of side dishes. We've got soup starters. We've got two mains. Now it's time to go on to some exciting desserts. So let's make ourselves some pastries. So yeah, that, these little sort of yummy things you might have at the end. Uh, I mean, we've got the cheesecake. Really, really, you'd make a Christmas cake, but there doesn't seem to be a Christmas cake option. How about an apple pie? An apple pie might go nice. So yeah, let's have a Christmas apple pie. Now, the thing is, there already is an apple pie. There's an apple cream pie just there. I think we get rid of that. I took it off the menu just to see what it does. But yeah, it's a quality of 61. So as long as we can create a pie that is better than 61, I think we'll be okay. So if we go back into here, um, what can we call it? Let's call it the pie of many apples. And that'll do. So there you go. It's going to look like that. Let's start the recipe. So we've got sugar. It's going to need some sort of uh, gelatin type uh, thing in. I think that's what that is, isn't it? I think that's what that's supposed to be making me do. Or is that put that in? Is that a blob of gelatin already? So, okay, so these are the ingredients to make the actual pie are flour, some sort of uh, sort of gelling agent -y sealing thing to make it look nice, I guess. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the big green drop is. And some sugar. 
So that makes the casing, is that it? That makes the, the actual pie mix. So then we want to go in here and get in some delicious things. So apples makes it really rubbish. Given that it's an apple pie and we put apples in it and it makes it go up to six, that's not very encouraging. What if we put blueberries in? 36. <laughs> the pie of many apples might not have apples in it because it doesn't really have any bearing on anything. Oh, that is, that's just not good at all. That's, this is terrible. This pie is a terrible pie. This is an awful pie. How do we make pies better? Make pies great again. Okay, the pie of many apples doesn't seem to work. I can't really get it to work very well at all. I mean, already, by default, the sweetness is already high. It's already got this sort of alarming kind of exclamation mark of, whoa, this is a bit sweet. And we haven't got anything in there yet. That's just the, the pie crust mix or whatever. So, yeah, I, I couldn't find anything that worked that made it not a terrible thing. So the one that we had on the menu was, what was it? Was 61. Yeah, I can't get it any better than that. I'd love to know what was in that. What is in this? Apple and cream. Oh, I didn't try putting cream in. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, so uh, where's where's cream? Dairy things. Dairy things are there. I mean, could we put... We haven't really got cream. M mascarpone, does mascarpone go in a pie? That's kind of cheese. That's kind of cheese, really. I don't think any of these things... Kind of, maybe butter. Butter could go in and make it go all the way up to seven. Oh, butter goes up there. <gasps> That's what it is. Hang on a minute. If I take that out, so butter could go in there. Cow cheese can't go in there. Cow cheese can go in here. Eggs, mascarpone, milk, parmesan. Right, but butter can go in the top. Ah, okay. Now that might make sense. So flour, butter, and sugar mixed together makes the cake mix. Yeah, I, I don't do much baking. I don't, I don't do much in the way of baking. That's probably painfully obvious right now. Okay, so now, what if we say, ah, now, let's click sugar goes with all of those things. Sugar goes with all of those things. Apple, it goes well, doesn't go well with. Apple into the bottom one. See, it just doesn't go with apples. We're at blue, the blueberries, because they're a high quality ingredient, make it go up to 38 or 24 if we put it there. So yeah, let's put some blueberries in. <laughs> in our pie of many apples, it might not have many apples. Strawberries, it just doesn't work. Strawberries, or oh, strawberries, it makes it go up by two just there. So we can do that. But now that's making the sweetness go up. So now we need to offset the sweetness with stuff like salt. So let's put loads of salt. And there you go, up to 63. Right, it's better. So the pie of many apples doesn't have any apples in it. Do you know what? I quite like that. I like the novelty of that. <laughs> water. Just put, just, just chuck some water in. Just throw some water in there. Why not? See if it makes a difference. No, it doesn't. It makes it horrible. Uh, okay, what else can we put into our pie of many apples that doesn't have apples? Okay, this is one weird pie. This is the weirdest pie. Uh, so it's called the pie of any apples. It's got blueberries in it and also mint as a main ingredient because mint and blueberries, you know, a common accompaniment there. And then also as a sort of a uh, little sort of uh, whatever it is, as the third tier ingredient, we've got strawberries, salt, vanilla and bananas <laughs> because the bananas are thrown in. If we take bananas out, 73 is fine. 73 sort of quality is okay. Flavour. So this is the smell. So this is the taste of 36. This is the flavour here of 16. If we add in a banana as a sub sort of a third tier, whatever ingredient, the flavour goes up to 26. So the taste isn't quite right, but overall as a dish, it makes it better. So it smells nicer, which kind of makes the dish slightly better. So okay, so the pie of many apples could not have cannot have apples in. Okay, but that's fine. That's fine. They don't need apples in that, do they? And the last thing we can make is some pretentious pastries. So let's go back into it. Now, I know what needs to go into there. Egg, flour, and let's go to here. It's butter. Yay. So already it comes down to six. Great. I'm glad putting the butter in makes it taste worse. Uh, are we supposed to put that in? What about, it can't be milk. It can't be cow cheese. It can't be that. It can't, it can only be butter. It can only be butter. Okay, I thought butter was a nice thing to put in things, but clearly not. So egg and flour, we're going to have to put butter in to make it, surely that's... But it reduces the taste, the fatness, it just makes it horrendous. What else are we supposed to put in there? What else do we put in there? I don't... I don't can we put beer in? Anyone want any beer? No, clearly it's not beer. Margarine might go well. Nope, that also makes it horrible. What do we put in there? Okay, well let's go for butter. Because butter is 9.51 per kilo, and I think margarine is a bit more expensive. And I'm not really sure why margarine is in the other ingredients. Why is that not in dairy? Yeah, margarine is 12.97, and butter is whatever that was cheaper. So that's fine. So we'll put butter in. It makes it not very nice. So now we need to offset the fatness. So we need sourness, 
and bitterness to kind of offset this. So I did want, I did want to put strawberries in there. A strawberries rarely, they've got a bit of sourness actually. They've got, they're all right actually. That might work quite well if we do that. Up to 35. Yeah, okay. So that worked pretty well. That worked okay. Right, what else do you put on pastries? Like cream and stuff. Like this sort of stuff. Like mascarpone maybe. That's kind of a, maybe not. Maybe not mascarpone. Don't put mascarpone, never put mascarpone on a pastry. Hey, I found something that the apples are good at. The apples are good at this. There we go. So it goes from 42 to 48 because they are a bit sour. I think that's kind of how that works. We're struggling with the pastries. I'm really struggling to find anything that works. Nothing seems to be working. It all just seems to be terrible. Uh, well, what about the what about the stuff? Where is it? This stuff. This might save us. Vanilla and such. Just chuck some, just chuck some flavors in there. Anything. Just throw some mint in. Does mint go better across the top here? uh possibly i don't know so yeah so now it's a bit sour and a bit fatty but 58 that's just not very good is it that's just terrible okay once again i'm deploying the blueberries the tier three blueberries are being added just to make this not a terrible dish so okay so pretentious pastries that'll do that'll do i've probably done that all wrong i'm not really sure but there we go <laughs> right let's save that and now that's done let's go and add those things to our menu so right the pie of many apples can go in yeah like that and pretentious pastries can go in the pie of oh hang on a minute how much did it say they were did they so they cost let's take the pie of many apples back out and pastries right pretentious pastries 308 to make so we can charge probably uh seven for those because they're very very fancy and the pie of many apples is 222 that can go for six they can be our star some of our star desserts there also chocolate chip cookies how much do they 146 i oh, know they can probably stay in as uh they can probably stay in as five i think that's probably fine uh, all the beer is good i'm just gonna check though i didn't check actually how much the beer was how much the alcohol was so if we go to excellent blonde beer can't remember how much it was 259 is the sort of recommended price and we were charging four were we for that for that drag that over uh and that's probably fine that's probably fine yeah let's keep it at that for joe let's put the excellent blonde beer at five i mean it is it's excellent and the brandy can go to five as well because it's all excellent stuff okay so appetizers we haven't got anything extra um uh, main courses we'll come to that in a sec salads not really that bothered right here we go soups here we go leek and potato soup costs not very much to prepare at all let's make sure we rip people off for of this good and proper uh let's put seven for that that's in fact do you know what let's put six for that and that's also good because it's vegan and vegetarian friendly, as is this one, which is excellent. And liquid vitamins can go at seven because that is just supremely good. That's just really, really delicious. Everyone will like that. Right, sides. Roasties will go for... Uh, how much are the other sides? They can go for three. And these things can also go for three. Do you know what? No, let's put it at four. Let's put it at four. All the sides are four. That's absolutely fine. Uh, and then dessert-wise, we're done. Beer, we're done. Soups, we're done. Salads, we're done. Yes, yeah, so it's just the mains. So it's the new main. So Christmas roast ham is five twenty-seven. I think that's that. Isn't it? Yeah, price. So five twenty-seven. So let's have uh, Christmas roast ham can be ten, like the roast beef. It's it's a big exciting dinner. The roast turkey can also be 10 lovely lovely and that's it i think that's all the stuff that we've just created now added into the menu that's very exciting we've got quite a lot of quite a lot of things here quite a lot of things going on we need some more appetizers really i need to make some more appetizers at some point and potentially some more salads as well some more appetizers and some more salads would not be a bad thing right so all that's done all that's done and now this is the bit where, you know, the game kind of... all oh, that's really exciting. I like all that. You make all the stuff. Now comes the kind of the weird bit of the game where you just sit and wait. So all these people can come in and hopefully they will love all that stuff that we've just created. They will love all those lovely foods. Now, one thing is... One thing is, is this telling us what they ordered? Yeah, so this is saying what people ate. Yeah, there's still no way to sort of order this. There's no way to sort of uh, filter this on anything. So you don't really know. It's just a great big kind of unfiltered list. It'd be really useful if you could say, right, okay, who ate the Italian tomato pasta? Click. Right, and what did they think? And you could say, all right, I'm filtering it on Italian tomato pasta. And their satisfaction of that particular dish was blah. Because in this particular order here, 
the Italian tomato pasta might have been absolutely mind-blowingly glorious. Daria, from, from the lower class family, Daria, lower class family lady, might have gone, this Italian tomato pasta is the best thing I've ever eaten in the whole history of my face. But roast potatoes and the chocolate chip cookies might have been really awful. She might have chucked them on the floor. And the excellent white wine she might have just poured onto the nearest plant. So, yeah, I don't know what's good and what's bad in that particular order. Other than that kind of mixture of things was pretty good. And that uh, mixture of things there, the onions and cheese sauce and Italian tomato pasta was very good for Alex the cheapskate. So yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know how we're supposed to kind of work out what's good and what's bad using this particular sort of screen of information there, which is not, it's not great. It's not particularly helpful, but never mind. Right, let's run time on. Let's get to the end of this particular session and just see what's going on. I've just been watching the chefs do their work. I've put it back down to sort of the regular one speed. Just been watching the chefs do their thing. Okay, they've stopped doing it now, which is unfortunate. But they would just kept getting out carrots. So the vegetables they kept getting out and sort of are doing stuff with were carrots. And then they were chopping them and then chucking the knives around quite a lot. I mean, that's quite dangerous. That's quite dangerous. If you're a professional chef, you should not be chucking the knives around into the air. What if it lands on your hand? What if it hinges you? That is your chefing career over if it goes you know, through one of your tendons or something like that. I think you should be a little bit more careful, chefs, in this kitchen. It appears that you've finally managed to become a little popular in the neighbourhood. While that doesn't necessarily mean hordes of hungry customers, at least more people are starting to acknowledge the existence of your restaurant. I guess that's because we got to 150 popularity. It's just the beginning. Right, has that opened up anything exciting for us in the policies and decisions thing? Have we got anything exciting? Um, oh, no, look at that. 300 popularity required. Okay, so, you know, we'll get there eventually. Local handymen. By getting in contact with some local handymen, you will be able to further customise your place, unlocking better quality paints and wallpaper for your walls and better looking tiles for your floors. Oh, how exciting. Oh, that's very exciting. Yeah, that's good. I like the idea of that. So we need 300 popularity for that. Okay, we'll get there eventually, I'm fairly sure. Also, um, I did realise that last time I said, oh, we could revolutionise the staff. I think we we're talking about changing the staff. Yeah, let's not do that now. We kind of went down the Christmassy route. And at some point, we might want to do this as well. We are making a profit. We are making a little profit. So I was thinking we could spend 300 of our monies every, well, every day as we would say, but every week as the game sort of rolls it up. I thought we could go for a billboard advertisement to target families and then a bit of social media to target tourists because that might be quite good. I quite like that idea because, yeah, that could target families. We've already got lower class and upper class families coming in anyway. So that'll bring in more lower class family people, which is a good thing. And that costs 100 at the end of the week. So let's go for that. We'll have a bit of that. And then we use social media to advertise to tourists to move that thing around. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and that bought families back. I know, it's, it's just sort of remeasuring. It's just rebalancing it. So we get less cheapskates, who I guess are going to be paying less and not actually eating that much, and more in terms of tourism and families. So that's good. So that'll cost us 300 a week to get that in. Um, how are things going? Everything's looking pretty good. Now, in that policies thing as well, I did notice, we go down to the bottom, there is a cleaning thing just here, which seems very expensive. It seems really expensive to say, yeah, put these things in. So there's hall cleaning, kitchen cleaning, and toilet cleaning. I mean, we don't have any toilets, which is a little bit odd, but there we go. I'm sure they're working on that. But like this here, look, says uh, minus 35 restaurants environment quality, which is if you just, you know, if you just have some greasy tables. And then you go all the way up to here. So pandemic proof hygiene means that maybe you just you black all of the environment quality. So are we sacrificing environment quality? We're losing 35 environment quality just because it's a bit... I oh know, 40. We're on this. So artistic stain patterns means that we lose 40 to the environment quality. So whatever we've put in there, uh, if it doesn't add up to 40, it's still we're still on negative balance because we don't actually clean the place. But it costs loads. It costs quite a lot. Like, that's 100 to clean the place. And that's 50. And that's 50. So it could cost us 200 every time just to sort of do some very basic cleaning. Which is a bit weird. But okay, do you know what? It, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll do some of that later. We'll do some of that later. Let's see how we have done with our Christmas things. So lunchtime session is finally done. The money's looking pretty good. The money is looking pretty good. Okay, right. Speed time forward. Let's just shift it on to the end of the evening session and see how well that has gone. Okay, so the reviews are mixed. The reviews are certainly mixed. Not coming in, average, just bad, good, 
dinner with friends. That's not a review. That's just factual. Come on, give us something we can work with, Azra, who looks weird enough like Valentina. Lovely beard, Valentina. And uh, Sergei says, a bad experience. So can we get these guys in? So where's... Oh, I don't know the names of these. So just bad. Just bad and expect much. So, there's, oh. Oh, the atmosphere. There's no atmosphere at all. Well, you sat in the car park. <laughs> Are you sure you came to the right place? Sorry, but you need much more to call yourself restaurant nowadays. Creating something edible is not enough. When I go to a restaurant, I want to enjoy a pleasant experience. Yeah, that, that certainly will have absolutely hammered the result down. The food is sort of okay. Prices are still way, way good. So we, we need to do something about that because maybe we're still not making enough money off that. But yeah, atmosphere, that's that's really bad. If that's three though, that's an ambience of three. Three, yeah, it's still not good, is it? The atmosphere is just not good. That's okay, though. Give it a go. Lower class tourist. It wasn't bad, so I'm coming again since it is really close to my house. Then surely you're not a tourist. Surely you live nearby. You're a resident. But okay, whatever the case. So, um, yeah, these last people need to pay up, and then we can see how well we have done on February week three. Now, the thought did cross my mind. Oh, more reviews. Oh, hang on. A popular. Have we got bad reviews? Are we losing popular? <gasps> We've got some poor reviews coming in. Oh, this is this isn't helping at all. Not in the oh, this is just how how your view of the prices is is awful. But your prices were really good. Very confusing. Reviews are confusing. Not that bad, but not that good either. My cap sock button broke, so I'm not angry. Please read this review like I was talking normally. Oh, sorry, I entirely didn't do that. I do apologise. I also did realise the um. The weirdness of this, because obviously I'm right now, as you're watching this, it, well, when this video went out, maybe not when you're watching this, but when this video went out, oh, who's coming in at midnight? You, you, I don't let them in. Just shut the doors. Don't let them in. Clear off. This something to go home and go to sleep. Um, as this video is uh, going uh, out, is actually published, it is the day after Christmas Day. So it's Christmas scene. It's all Christmas time. And it's all very lovely. But um, in the game, it's February. So here's me going, yay, Christmas menu. <laughs> And it's the third week of February. So I'm going to uh, play it that we've gone down the retro theme. All the people that love Christmas and that are missing Christmas, we've got Christmas back on the menu just for you guys. It's just for the Christmas lovers. A weird graphical anomaly there on our waiting staff where they're moving around. It looks like they're kind of regenerating into different people. <laughs> the two faces just sort of are fighting for attention. That looks, it looks very odd and, and a little bit disturbing, I'll be honest. It looks very strange. Stop that. One of you move around here or something. Go and look at this lovely picture of a bloke with a beard. And the day and therefore the week has ended. We get this very confusing sheet, which now seems to make even less sense than it did before because now I've got no earnings. <laughs> so apparently I've got no earnings at all. I've got nothing. So uh, even though I charged, um, I made 2,727 on food and 447 on beverages. That's not earnings, apparently. That's just nothing. So I made, so what did we make? 27, 28293, so 3,200-ish on food and drinks. We made 3,200. And then we spent yeah, a bit on personnel, the rent, which is possibly right or wrong. I'm not really sure. That Was it that much? I can't remember what it was now. Raw ingredients, 909 on raw ingredients. Good grief. Uh, maintenance, which seems quite a lot. And we spent 300 on policies, which is correct. That's not the only correct thing on this uh, sort of uh, on the summary sheet, really. So we spent 300 on that, which was advertising to tourists and families. Okay, okay. Right, I'm happy with that. Let's pause it for now. Let's pause it for now. I'm a little bit sad that that's come down. The popularity has come down. I'm not really happy with that. So we might have to try and do something about that, get some more items in. But we do have some monies. We've got ourselves 4,046 monies. So maybe we could go through and get some more items, get some more things, put some more things around the walls and what have you. I mean, do we need to put like carpets down and stuff because they can kind of go on obviously not the walls they go underneath the table so they might cover a greater area i'm not sure we need to look at that but certainly our sort of environment and ambience is not good it's not good that is what's what's sort of making people a bit sad and what is affecting our ratings so yeah i mean atmosphere yeah atmosphere there is not very good atmosphere there is not very good yeah so it's the atmosphere we need to sort that out we need to sort out the atmosphere. We'll try and do that next time. And also next time, we might look at redoing the staff a little bit if we can make that work. And I think next time, maybe we start looking at doing some better salad type things. We haven't got much in the way of salad 
There's not much of the way going on with salad. So yeah, let's get that sorted as well. Let's increase that. We'll get ourselves some nice high quality salad -y ingredients and make some better salads for those folk who love a lovely salad. And I said salad far too many times. So I think it's time to finish up salad. So if you have enjoyed this, please do leave a like. And also, as always, please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in Chef. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I'll see you next time. This room was fire free until it wasn't. Okay, yeah, come with me if you want to live, Paul. Hop on. Wee. <laughs> this is brilliant. That looks fun. Do some watery stuff. Yes, make the propane caster not explode. Uh, yeah, the toilet's on fire. Never mind. Oh dear, that didn't go according to plan. Never mind, it's fine.